Viewers at home, you are welcome to my presentation on public sector accounting and finance lecture. In this presentation, I will examine the sources of government revenue and the preparation of federation account. Sources of revenue and the preparation of federation accounts. What is government revenue? Government revenue are the income generated by government from various sources. Income generated by the government from their various sources of income, that is government revenue. Income, the income generated by government from various sources of their income, that is government revenue. The source of government revenue include what we'll examine the sources sources of government revenue sources of government revenue the source of government revenue include one taxation taxation is the number one source of revenue to government. Taxation are the compulsory levy imposed by the government for which citizens receive no direct benefit in return. The, the compulsory levy, the compulsory levy imposed by the government for which citizens receive no direct benefit in return. Taxation can be categorized into two. Taxation as a source of revenue to government can be categorized into two. Number one, we have direct taxes. Direct taxes. And the second one is indirect taxes. Direct taxes and indirect taxes. So direct taxes are taxes levied directly on income direct taxes direct taxes are taxes levied directly on the income of individuals and business enterprises the taxes levied directly on the income of individuals and business enterprises is said to be the direct tax. Direct taxes are taxes levied directly on the income of individual and business enterprises. The burden of direct taxes fall directly on the taxpayers. The burden of direct taxes fall directly on the taxpayers. That is, the incident of direct taxes is on the income earner. So, now, examples of direct taxes. Number one, we have personal income tax. Personal income taxes. Personal income taxes. Personal income tax are leveraged directly on income of individuals after all necessary tax relief have been deducted. A tax levied directly on the income of an individual after all necessary tax relief have been deducted is said to be the personal income tax. I repeat, personal income tax are taxes levied directly on income of an individual after all necessary tax relief have been deducted. A good example of personal income tax is pay. Pay as you earn. Pay as you earn. Pay as you earn. That is pay. It's a good example of the personal income tax. P-A-Y-E, pay. 
the pay as you earn. Pay is applied to people in employment. Tax applied to people in employment is said to be the pay. I told you that pay is an example of personal income tax. Number two, I am seen on direct tax. No, I'm giving you the examples of direct tax. The number one example I've examined is personal income tax. Number two is company income tax. Companies income tax. Company income tax. This is levied on the profit of the companies. Company income tax is a tax levied on the profit of the company. The tax levied on the profit of the company is said to be the company income tax. The third example of direct tax I'm going to examine is capital gain tax. Capital gain tax. Capital gain tax. Capital gain tax is a tax levied on the appreciated value of an asset on disposal. Tax or taxes levied on the appreciated value of an asset on disposal is said to be the capital gain tax. Capital gain tax is a tax levied on the appreciated value of an asset on disposal. So that means when there is a disposal of an asset, the excess of the sales proceed over the over the cost of the asset disposed, or the current amount of the asset disposed, is said to be the capital gain tax. So now number four is petroleum profit tax. Petroleum. Petroleum profit. Tax. Petroleum profit tax. This is the tax levied on the profit of oil companies. Tax levied on the profit of oil companies is said to be the petroleum profit tax. Petroleum profit tax is the tax levied on the profit of the Oil companies. Now that is direct tax. The second classification of tax I'm going to look at is indirect tax. Indirect, indirect, indirect taxes. Indirect taxes. Indirect taxes are taxes levied on goods and services. The taxes levied on goods and services is said to be an indirect taxes. I repeat, an indirect tax are taxes levied on goods and services. Example of an indirect tax are number one. We have the import duties. Import duties. Import duties is a tax levied on imported goods. Tax or taxes levied on the imported goods is said to be an import duty. The second one is export. Export duties. Export duties is a tax or uh, are taxes levied on goods that are exported to other countries. Taxes levied on goods that are exported to other countries. The third example of indirect tax I'm going to look at is excise duties. Excise duties. Excise duties. Excise duties 
is the tax that are levied on goods that are manufactured within the country. Taxes that are levied on the goods that are manufactured within the country are said to be an excise duties. I repeat, an excise duties are taxes levied on the locally produced goods. Taxes levied on the locally produced goods or locally manufacturing goods. The number four example of an indirect tax I'm going to look at is value added tax. Value added tax. Tax on value added. These are tasks levied on consumption or spending. Taxes levied on consumption. That is when you consume goods and services. The tax levied on those goods, or when you spend, when you incur expenditure on goods, the tax levied on the expenditure you incur on those goods is said to be the value added tax. And the incident of the value added tax is on the final consumers of the product. The incident of value added tax, that is VAT, is on the final consumers of the product. A tax levied on consumption or tax or taxes levied on expenditure, which is borne by the final consumers of the product, is said to be the value added tax. These are the examples of an indirect taxes. Having examined taxation as a source of revenue to government. So I want to look at the number two source of revenue, and which is fees. Fees. So what do you mean by fees? Fees are the payment made by those who use the public services. Payment made by those who use the public services is said to be the fees. Payment made by those who use the public services. Examples of fees are court fees. Court fees. Then we may also have medical fees. Medical. Medical fees. ETC. I've told you that the payment made by those that use the public services is said to be the fees. Fees is one source of revenue to government. The third source of revenue to government I'm going to examine is fines. Fines. Fines are the penalties. Fines are the penalties imposed by government for breaching, for breaching the law. The penalties imposed by government for breaching the law is said to be the fines. When you breach the law, then you'll be imposed a penalty. And that penalty is said to be the fines. It is one source of revenue to the government. The number four source of revenue, which I'm going to look at, is grants. Grants. So what do you mean by the grant. Grants are no repayable money received. No repayable, that is, it will not be repaid. No repayable money received by the government from another government. No repayable money received by the government from another government. If Nigeria receives a grant from US, that grant is not expected to be repealed by Nigeria to US. So that's why I said grants are not repayable money received by the government from another government with the aim of helping such government. With the aim of helping such government either to improve or to start a project of importance. So not repayable money received by government from another government 
with the aim of helping such government either to improve or to start the project of importance that is grant that is grant and which is one important source of revenue to government number five source of revenue which i'm going to look at is public debts or borrowing public debts or borrowings to learn more on this public debts i have a full presentation on public debts so try to watch it public debts are debts old debts old both internally or externally by government of a country debt old both internally or externally by gov by the government of a country that is said to be the public debt the debt owed by government so i've told you that this debt could be an internal debt or an external debt so what do we mean by internal debt internal debts are debts owed by the government to the resident of a country debt owed by the government to the resident of that same country is said to be an internal debt why external debts external debts external debts are debts owed to oversee government and international institutions debt owed by government to oversee government and international institutions such as IMF, IMF, International Monetary Funds. So IMF, debt owed by government to, an, to another government or international institutions is said to be an external debt. So public debts or borrowing is another important source of revenue to government. Number six source of revenue, which I'm going to look at, is sales of national assets. Sales of national assets. Sales of national assets. These are revenue from the sales of national assets through privatization. When government privatize some of sectors of that economy. So the process from that privatization is said to be is one source of revenue to government. So that is what we mean by sales of national assets. Sales of national assets, that is revenue from sales of national assets through privatization. The number seven source of revenue, which I'm going to look at, is foreign investment. Foreign investment foreign investment foreign investment are the revenue from investments in overseas countries revenue from investment in overseas countries is said to be the foreign investment having examined the various sources of revenue to government I therefore want to examine the preparation of federation accounts. Preparation of federation accounts. I've told you that the federal government derives its revenue from different sources. The federal government derives its revenues from various sources. These revenue sources shall be grouped into three. The revenue sources of federal government shall be grouped into Three. Number one is federa Federation Account Revenue Heads. Federation Accounts Revenue Heads. Federation Accounts Revenue Heads. That is the first. The second one is the value 
value added tax, value added tax, value added tax. And the third one is the federal government account revenue head. Federal government account revenue head. And this can also be called consolidated revenue funds or consolidated revenue funds consolidated revenue fund please if this is your first time of coming across my channel or if you have not subscribed in the past please click the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so that you'll be able to receive a notification message each time I drop a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you and God bless you. If you want to search all my videos, just type Azika. You may type Azika or you type Azika Academy. On the search menu of your YouTube app, then click on my page icon. It will take you to my YouTube page. Click on my page icon. After clicking on my page icon, from the pop-up menu, then you click playlist. Playlist. Then you will see different playlists. So click on the playlist containing the course or topic of your choice. So you'll be able to see many videos under each playlist. So now I said we have Federation Account Revenue Heads, we have the value added task. And then we have federal government account revenue head, which is also known as the consolidated revenue funds, CRF. So now my focus now in this presentation is federation accounts. The next one will be considered in part two of this presentation. The federation, federal government account revenue head and some others will be considered in part two of this presentation. So what do we mean by federation accounts? Federation accounts. Federation accounts is a special accounts created by the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria. The special accounts created by the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria, into which shall be paid all revenue collected by the government of the Federation, except the proceeds from the payee of armed forces personnel, police personnel, foreign service, foreign service officers, and residents of the, cap, of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and other federally independent revenue. I repeat, Federation account is a special account created by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, into which shall be paid all revenue collected by the government of the Federation, except the proceeds from the payee of armed forces personnel, police personnel, foreign service officer, and residents of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and other federally independent revenue. That is Federation Account. I've told you that Federation Account is a special account created by the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria, into which shall be paid all revenue collected by the government of the Federation, except, I want you to take note, that except, that is the following revenue, will not go, go into the Federation account. That is what we mean by except. That is, except the proceeds from the payee of armed forces, person, uh, forces personnel, police, that is, proceeds from uh, payee of armed forces personnel, the payee of police personnel, 
the pay of foreign service officers and the pay of residents of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and other federally independent revenue. Those ones will not go into the Federation accounts. From that definition, we have asserted that the following revenue should not be entered in the Federation account. I said the payee, those revenues that will not be entered in the Federation account include payee, that is pay as you earn, of armed forces personnel that will not be entered in the Federation account. The payee, payee of police personnel, police personnel will not be entered into the federation account. Today, from that same definition, we said payee of foreign service officers, payee of foreign service officers he said it will not be entered in the federation account then we also have payee of the resident of Cap federal capital territory abuja payee of the resident of federal capital territory Abuja, this PU will not be recorded or entered in the Federation account. They will not be entered into the Federation account. Number five, other federal government independent revenue. Other federal government independent. Revenue that is whenever you see any of these items, so don't record them into the federation account. None of these items listed should be entered or recorded into the federation account. So, federation account, I want you to know that federation account is a distributable pool, it's a distributable pool account from which allocations are made. A distributable pool account. What do you mean by a distributable pool? That is, it is an account that shows the sharing of the revenue of the Federation. It's an account that involves uh, the sharing of the revenue of the Federation. That is why we say Federation account is a distributable pool account from which allocations are made. So that is, when you share the revenue, you are going to share the revenue from federation account between federal government, state government, and the local government. So that is why we say federation account is a distributable pool account from which allocations are made to the federal, state, and local governments. From which allocations are made to federal, state, and local government. So that is federation account. It's a distributable pool account from which allocations are made to federal, state, and local government on such terms and manners prescribed by laws. On such terms and manner prescribed by law. Currently, the figure in this pool, in the pool is distributed using the revenue allocation formula as shown below. The figure in this Federation account. I'm told that it is a distributable account. It is a distributable pool account. So the figure now in the Federation account will be shared using the formula. So federal government, federal government will receive 52.68%. 52.68%. Whatever percentage you are expected to use under exam condition will be given your question paper. So state government. State government share of federation account that is 26.26.72 percent. 
26.72%. And local government, local government, share of the federation account, and that is 20.60%. 20.60%. And when you sum it up, it will give you 100%. So, that is the formula for sharing the federation account revenue. The federal government share of federation account of 52.68%. Uh, the federal government share of 52.68% of the federation account is further distributed as follows. This 52.68, you are going to distribute it as shown below. Then consolidated revenue funds. Consolidated revenue fund, and that will take 48.5%. 48.5%. CRF, we take 48.5% of the 52.68% calculated. Then, Federal Capital Territory, Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and that will take 1.0%. 1.0%. Then we have development of natural resources. Development of natural resources. And that will be 1.68%. 1.68%. Then we also have share of derivation and ecology. Share of Derivation and ecology. Ecology. And that will be 1.0%. Finally, we have stabilization. Stabilization. And that is 0.50%. And when you sum it up, 48.5% plus 1.0% plus 1.68% plus 1.0% plus 0.5%, that will give you 52.68%. And that is how you are going to share the 52.68%, the one that goes to federal government. That is how that will be shared. So, sources of revenue payable to federation account. Sources of revenue payable to the federation account. Sources. Sources of revenue payable to the federation. Federation. Accounts. There are three revenue heads payable into the Federation account. There are three revenue heads payable into the Federation account. The number one revenue head is head one. Head revenue head one. Revenue head number one. The revenue head number one is for direct taxes. Direct taxes. If you look at the definition I've given to you, I've told you that those payee of the armed forces, of the police personnel, of the resident of federal capital territory, and the payee of foreign service officers, I've told you that those taxes will not be entered in the federation account. If you have look at the definition of federation account we have given. So, the, the direct taxes, so that will be payable or uh, entered in the federation accounts include the company income tax, company 
income tax then we also have petroleum profit tax petroleum profit tax then you can also have the capital gain tax capital gain tax then you may also have the back duty assessment back duty assessment etc this are uh, direct taxes that we go into the federation account that is head number one the second revenue head that will be entered i'm told you that there are three revenue heads that will be entered into the federation account the head number one is direct taxes and head number two is indirect taxes head two that is indirect taxes they are tax on goods and services if you have looked at my previous explanation i've told you that indirect taxes are taxes on goods and services so those indirect taxes that we go into the uh, federation account include number one import duties import duties number two we have export export duties the third one we have excise duties excise duties then we have official penalties for for future penalties etc these are all forms of indirect taxes that we go into the federation account remember i've told you that there are three revenue heads that will be entered into the federation account the third revenue head is mining head number three head number three and that is mining that is the third revenue head that will go into the federation account so mining are income connected with the exploration of minerals income connected with the exploration of minerals examples are one oil pipeline license fees oil pipeline all income from oil pipeline license fees all income from oil goes into the federation account then number two rent of mining rights rent of mining rights rent of mining rights number three we have mining fees mining fees mining fees number four we have royalties of minerals royalties on minerals number five we have nnpc earnings from direct sales nnpc earnings from direct sales nnpc's earnings from direct sales number six we have penalty for gas flare penalties penalties for gas fled then number seven rent of oil well rent of oil well only come collected with oil i said that we go into the federation account rent of oil well then we have number eight 
Sales of crude oil for export. Sales of crude oil for export. Sales of crude oil for export. Then we also have sales of crude oil for domestic consumption. Sales of crude oil for domestic domestic consumption. Sales of crude oil for domestic consumption. Then we have rent of oil grand. Rent of oil grand. Finally, we have royalties for extraction of oil. Royalties for extraction of oil. ETC. All this will go into the Federation account. I've told you that there are three revenue heads that will go into the Federation account. The first revenue head is head number one, which is direct taxes. I've given you the example to include the company income tax, the petroleum profit tax, and the capital gain tax, and back duty assessment, ETC. I've told you that the pay as you earn, the payee of armed forces, police, personnel, foreign, and those in federal capital territory, Abuja, I have told you that those payee will not go into the federation account. Then, this head number two, of revenue that we go into the federation account that includes the indirect taxes. I've told you that that includes import duties, export duties, excise duties, for officials penalties, etc. Then the third head, revenue head, that we go into the federation account is mining. I've given you the example to include oil pipeline license fees, rent of mineral of mining rights, rent of mining rights. Then we have mining fees, we have the royalties on minerals, then NNPC earnings from domestic, from direct sales, then the penalties for gas fled. Then we have rent of oil wear. Then we also have sales of crude oil for export, then sales of crude oil for domestic consumption. Then we also have rent of oil grant, and finally we have royalty for extraction of oil. Those are the various revenue heads. Those are the three revenue heads that goes into the Federation account. Having considered the three revenue heads that goes into the Federation account, I therefore want to solve questions as work example. From the following details, prepare the Federation account. You are given the inflows the inflows to include the import duties. Import duties goes into the Federation account. Federation account, FA, Federation account. Then we have export duties. Export duties also goes into the Federation account. Then the third one is excise duties. That also goes into Federation account. Then petroleum income tax also goes into the federation account. Then the next one is company income tax. That also goes into the federation account. Then pays deduction from armed forces. After that, this one will not go into the federation account. It goes into the federal government account, which is CRF, Consolidated Revenue Funds. Then we also have Pay deduction from police personnel, that is CRF, not Federation account. Pay of the residents of Abuja, that is CRF, Consolidated Revenue Funds. Then we also have dividend from Government investment, that is an internal revenue of the federal government. So that is CRF. Then we have outflows. The outflows, we have remuneration of statutory officers. That is a charges against the CRF. So 
In my next presentation, the part two of this presentation, I will look at the CRF, so all the revenues from head number six to head number 17. Head six to head 17 that goes into CRF will be examined in part two. And all those charges that will be made from the CRF will also be examined. So we have recurrent expenditure, and that is also a charges against CRF. This is charges against CRF, and this is also a charge against the CRF. Then transfer to development funds, and that is also a charge against the CRF. We also have transfer to contingency fund, that is also a charge against the CRF. Note, note, revenue allocation formula should be taken as the federal government to receive 48.5 percent, the state government to receive 24 percent, and the local government to receive 20 percent. Why 7.5 percent is a special force. So now we have identified those information that will go into the federation account and those that will not go into the federation account. You may copy out the question, the import duties, the export duties, the excise duties, the petroleum income tax, the, the company's income tax, and those are revenue we have identified to be the revenue that we go into the federation account in this question. So now, solution. Solution. So now, let's have the solution to the question. So the name of the entity is not given, and the period is not equally specified. So now let's just have Federation, Federation account for the, the period is now stated. So we have the Nairas at the top and triple zeros. So Naira and the triple zeros. This first revenue we have identified that we go into federation is import duties, now followed by export duties, followed by excise duties. Now let's write them out. Import duty, import duties, the export duties, excise duties. This have been identified as part of the Federation account revenue head. There was also a petroleum income tax and company income tax as part of the revenue we've identified. So now let's have petroleum income tax, petroleum income tax. Then we also have companies. income tax now having listed those revenue that goes into the federation account so now let's write the amount so import duties is 400,000 now let's have that 400,000 the as import duty 400,000 then export duty and that is 300,000. Export duty is 300,000. Then the excise duties is 200,000. Excise duties is 200,000. Excise duties, 200,000. Then petroleum income tax is 80 million. 80 million as the petroleum income tax, 80 million. 
Then we also have the company's income tax of 75 of 71 million. Company income tax 71 million. This are the revenue we've identified from the questions that we go into the federation account. We said the all this pay goes into CRF, 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 CRF. Every other revenues included in the question goes into CRF. So now that means we've done with those revenues that we go into the federation account in the question or from the question. So you may sum them up. Let's sum it up. 400,000 plus 300,000, that will be 700,000. 700,000 plus 200,000, that will be 900,000. 900,000 plus 80 million. 80 million. Plus 71 million. The total is... 151 million 900,000. The total uh, revenue, total income, the total income that is the total. When you sum it up, you have 151 million 900,000. This income. Will not be shared according to the uh, distribution formula. So now we have distributed, distributed as follows. The formula you were given, you were given the formula to use. We were told that forty. The revenue allocation formula should be taken as the federal government is 48.5, the state government 24%, the local government is 20%, and special fund is 7.5%. So now we have the federal government. So now we want to distribute it. Federal government, federal government share of the federation account, the state government, state government, share of the federation account, the local government, share of the federation account, and the special fund, special funds. Now, you were told the federal government share is 48.5 percent you calculate 48.5 percent of the total of the federation account which is 151 million 900 thousand 151 900 thousand the state government shares of that is 24 percent 24 percent of 151 900 thousand while the local government share is 20%, 20% 20 of 151, 900,000. And the uh, special fund is 7.5%. 7.5% of 151 million, 900,000. Now, what is 48.5% of that? Then you have 73 million, see 71, 500. 73 million, 73, see 71, 500. Therefore, state government, what is 24% of that? That will be 36 million. Four five six thousand. Thirty six million. Four five six thousand. Then for the local government, 
the local government 20%. That will be 30 million. 380,000. 30 million, 380,000. 30 million, 380,000. Then for the special fund, which is 7.5, and that will give us 11 million, 11 million, 392,500. 11 million. 392,500. So when you sum it up, when you add the distribution, plus 30,380,000, that will give us 73,671,500. Next. The total is one fifty one million nine hundred thousand. That is the federation account. So that is all about federation account. Please, the next part, try to watch the second part. So try to watch the second part. So I've told you that the second part of this presentation. So part two we involved the sources of revenue payable to CRF consolidated revenue funds and the preparation of consolidated revenue funds accounts. Details examination questions involving the preparation of federation accounts and consolidated revenue funds accounts will be solved in the next part. Thanks.